Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today we're going to be doing another episode of our Planet Zoom Mod Spotlights but today we're going to be doing something a little different. So I thought there's a couple of spaces I wanted to get as many mod videos as I can before the 20 seconds for, before the Africa pack comes out and 1.6 comes out. So I thought may as well. So what we're going to do is go through a couple really wacky mods, a couple different mods that I really wanted to have a look at. And yeah, I believe this would be a shorter one, but I think it'd be just as good as the normal ones. So we're going to start off with a really cool little animal. This one's probably the less weird because it's the actual one that's real. It is the Corgi. And look at these cuties. Look at them sleeping. Clearly having a good time. So the Corgi is a cattle herding dog that originated in Pembrokeshire in Wales. And there's two breeds of Welsh Corgi. There is the... Cardish Welsh Corgi and this uh, Pembrokeshire uh, Welsh Corgi and they're both suspended from these uh, Spitzline dogs so these guys were originally bred as cattle dogs and they're particularly famous for having extremely short legs and that can come with a bunch of health problems that are not necessarily unique to the breed but can have different dispositions like um, uh, hip dysplasia and things like that so these guys are generally very intelligent dogs, since they are bred to be cattle dogs. They're very intelligent, they're good companions for people, and they are very cute if you see them all run around, very cute. And that a lot of the issues that these guys have is mainly just due to being uh, dwarves and um, inbred, since a lot of purebred uh, dog breeds are inbred, but it's just the name of the game really. So they have a life expectancy of about 12 to 15 years. And as I mentioned, they have all these health problems like dysplasia and genetic testing have is available to help enhance the gene pool at least. So, and they're also prone to ob obesity, uh, given a robust appetite and characteristic and herd boot behavior. So, that really can be an issue for these guys to put on weight. So, these guys trace their lineage as far as 1107 AD. And they were said that um, Flemish weavers brought these dogs when they travelled them up to reside in Wales. And ancient law states that two children running together through the forest upon a funeral of a fairy, stumbled upon a funeral of a fairy, and they gave the two children two small corgi pups, and the children took them home and then gave the, made the breed so popular. Which I think is a pretty fun little story. And as I mentioned, they're very, very intelligent breeds, so they've been used for things like uh, obedience, showmanship, Herding events, fly ball, things like that. So they're very, very good and um, quite fast running. They can run at 25 miles per hour and can be healthy and fit. And if you guys don't know, one of the most famous ripped, uh, reptilian overlords of our world, uh, the never-dying reptilian overlord, also known as the Queen of England, <laughs> has um, often had these pups. Uh, they've been breeding them through the Buckingham Palace and all that. And the first royal corgi was given to her father about King George the Fourth. Brought home the first royal corgi, who was first named Dookie, which is a cute name actually. And the queen ceased breeding them in 2012, so none are left behind after she dies. And the last corgi from that willow died in 2018, though she was gifted new corgi pups, two new corgi pups for her family in 2021. So yeah, pretty pretty cool little guy. So now we're we'll moving on to. Something wonderful, we got another animal. That was made by Leaf. The next one is made by Nano uh, Lacensis, uh, Lanyensis. So we've got, this one's wonderful, the Macorivore. So you can see here, if you guys seen the Crudes, these guys are from the Crudacious period. And <laughs> I think I think this is a really interesting combination of design. So these guys are kind of combined uh, tiger and a Macor, hence the name Macorivore. And I believe to be a relative of the Smilodon, apparently. <laughs> so they can get to like uh, 1.4 feet, uh, 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters long, and they have like all these sorts of different variations. And they have these really cool tusks to them, and they have this really brilliant color that's like this blue, and then goes to light blue on the face, and a yellow and green uh, underbelly. Really interesting color combination for these guys. So the uh, coloration is based on the blue and gold or blue and yellow macaw, and 
You can see that with the yellow hair, and I think it's a really interesting combination to put on a cat. So these guys are very similar to tigers, and they're a jungle predator, and they live uh, in a more brightly colored environment. If you've seen the movie, you'll see you know why. And they're an ambush predator and like to hunt prey by sneaking up on them, similar to modern tigers. And the Makorovor will eat almost any creature that can fit in its mouth, except the Piranakeets. If you've seen the movie, you'll know why. And it's their only known predator. And they're actually very, very intelligent. They've uh, been known to understand complex, complex subjects such as fire giving off light and needing to blow it out to order to stay alert so they can understand that and take commands from people. And make good pets, apparently, because if you've seen the second movie, that's like the only pet that's kind of stuck around the whole movie. But, yeah. I think that's a pretty cool design. Having a nice sleep there. So now we're going to be moving on to the next one. We have got the unicorn. And look at this wonderful unicorn. So, unicorns obviously a very, very popular. Um, no, we'll get one that's not so banged up. Very popular in common media. So, the unicorn is a legendary creature that has been described since antiquity as a beast with a single large pointed spiraling horn protected from its forehead. The unicorn was depicted in ancient seals in the Indus Valley civilization and was mentioned by ancient Greeks in accounts of natural history by various writers, including um, Cetaceous and Starbro, Palinti the Younger, Alien and Cosmos, and Plasticus, and obviously I can't speak well Greek, so that probably didn't come out really well. And in the Bible, they're described as an animal, the uh, Rium, which is translated to unicorn by some people. And these guys, the, the unicorn that we know of today, like this guy, is comes from like mid, uh, middle age antiquity, but they were just depicted as like this white horse or goat-like animal with this long horn, and uh, sometimes a goat beard as well. So in the middle ages and the renaissance, it was, it was commonly depicted as a really wild woodland creature and a symbol of purity and grace. And, uh, and can only be captured by a virgin so they, those times it was very religious and things like that so a lot of the superstition around this guy and other things at the time evolved virgins and things uh in the encyclopedia its horn was said to have power to render poisoned water uh palatable and to heal sickness and believe it or not this as sort of like a remedy people collected narwhal uh, tusks and said they were the tusks of unicorns and said so the horns of unicorns and that's why we sort of get that myth so that's what they were used for trading in antiquity and they've since then they've grown a very very uh, prevalent uh, stay in pop culture such as uh, all sorts of uh, toys and things they're very popular they're not like the same league as like dragons and things pretty cool though pretty cool mod this made with pure winter and leaf leaf ported it to a new species but pure winter made it and i think it's rid of help and this last mod we have got by ndp we have got if you guys remember from zoo tycoon 2 we have got the killer penguin now look at this wonderful guy gosh i love it i love it love it love it so this is sort of like an in joke if you guys played zoo tycoon 1 there was a bug that like the emperor penguin could kill everything including t-rexes and orcas so what happened is in zoo tycoon 2 they made it like a little joke so if you have the extinct animals uh, expansion and you try to breed an animal and bring it back from extinction and you fail you have a chance of getting one of these eggs and then you have to raise it up and take care of it and the only way you can't adopt it out because they're literally the only uh no other zoo would want it and they even gave it like this really cool fake um name so it's uh endeptes so that's the genus that includes other rock hopper penguins and such um ominidus so it's ominidus so i love that i love that it's really gives it that scary name so you can see how that influenced design so it's ba based off the rock hopper penguin you can see it's got this really really cool uh feather uh dressed on it and they're huge too they're like two meters tall enormous you can see how big it is next to the guy they actually were prehistoric penguins that got this large so that's pretty incredible and you can see the difference of design they've also got this really sharp teeth really cool it reminds me of um pelagornids but they didn't have true teeth they had just 
teeth like protrusions off the beak. And I have to say, this is just really, really cool. I really love the design of this guy. So they were also from Madagascar, which was also believed to be a reference to the penguins of Madagascar from the Madagascar movies. I think that's pretty fun. And yeah, they occasionally they'll replace the uh, extinct research lab scientists of one of the zoo. It's like some funny little jokes. <laughs> and there's like also funny things like um, if a guest donates to a killer penguin exhibit, instead of the standard, I gave you a donation. Though the guest thinks, I wonder if I give the penguin money, will it be nice to me? I think that's really cool. They really played up the joke aspect of it. And I think it's cool that games did that. Like, it was almost like an in-joke. And games don't really do that anymore, sadly. It's just, I think it's just grown as an industry. It's kind of like when you have uh, a friend group or a, go to a small school or a small work of friends. You kind of have all these in-jokes. But once it gets too big, it's really hard to have those kind of in-jokes. But yeah, I think it's really cool how it came out. Let's see... Let's have a look to have a look at the babies. Look at these cuties. Just look at this cutie. I know they must be killer penguins, but they are very adorable. I want to see one of these guys swimming. We need to get at one of these guys swimming. Let's move you to the water. Are you, are you having babies or are you moving? Move into the water. Okay, you'll run into the water. Look how huge they are. Are you going to feed the baby or? I think that's really cool how it came out. Let's have a look at you swimming. See, he's gonna go for a swim. Oh no, a drink. <laughs> well, you guys can download the mod anyway, but this might not be available until uh, after 1.6 right away because usually what happens with the updates is that. They can uh, mess with the mods, so you mainly just have to wait for it to be updated, but usually that doesn't take too long. But yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful pack, a wonderful, wonderful animal. So yeah, I believe that would be a good place to end this video. So yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like and subscribe, always remember to hit that little bell icon to get notified when I upload anything. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like and subscribe, and bye-bye.